flogging servants, shooting poor people, and the extension of slavery to anyone who hasn't got a knighthood. <laughs> sensible policies for a happier Britain. Sir, if I may make so bold, a major crisis has arisen in your affairs. Yes, I know, Blackheader. I've been pondering it all morning. You have, sir? Yes, socks. Weird to see Rowan Atkinson care. talking. Why is it that no matter how many millions of pairs of socks I buy, I never seem to have any? Sir, with your forgiveness, there is another even weightier problem. I mean, they just disappear. <laughs> Honestly, socks are really, really important, though. Here, stealing the damn things and then selling them off. <laughs> oh, don't tell me he is. Only you and I have access to your socks. Yes, yes, you're right. Still, for me, socks are like sex. Tons of it about, and I never seem to get any. <laughs> Sir, if I may return to this very urgent matter. I read fearful news in this morning's paper. Oh, no. Not another little cat caught up in a tree. <laughs> no, sir. There is a vote afoot in the new parliament to strike you from the civil list. Well, yes, yes, yes. But what are they going to do about my socks? Sir, if this bill goes through, you won't have any socks. Well, I haven't got any socks at the moment. Or trousers, shirts, waistcoats, or pantaloons. They're going to bankrupt Ooh. you. Well, they can't do that. Why, right, the public love me. Only the other day, I was out in the street, and they sang, We hail Prince George! We hail Prince George! We hate Prince George. <laughs> we hate <laughs> Prince George. <laughs> I fear so, sir. However, all is not lost. Fortunately, the numbers in the Commons are exactly equal. If we can get one more MP to support us, then you're safe. Well, hurrah! Any ideas? Well, yes, sir. There is one man who might just be the ace of our sleeve. A rather trusty, loud-mouthed ace named Sir Talbot Buxomley. <laughs> Never heard of him. That's hardly surprising, sir. Sir Talbot has the worst attendance record of any member of Parliament. On the one occasion he did enter the House of Commons, he passed water one. in the Great Hall and then passed out in the Speaker's chair. <laughs> but if we can get him to support us, then we are safe. Well, what's he like? Well, according to who's who, his interests include flogging servants, shooting poor people, and the extension of slavery to anyone who hasn't got a knighthood. <laughs> Sensible policies for a happier Britain. However, if we're going to get him... I couldn't have put it better myself. ...he needs some sort of incentive. Hmm. Anything in mind? Well, you could appoint him a High Court judge. Is he qualified? He's a violent, bigoted, mindless old fool. <laughs> Sounds a bit overqualified. Well, <laughs> get him here at once. <laughs> Certainly, I will return before you can Sounds say... Sounds like a true MP. ...establishmentarian. Well, I wouldn't be too sure about that. anti distillidsmin <laughs> anti mistilinstid anti sti anti distinctly minty monitors. Sir Talbot Buxomley. <laughs> ah, Buxomley, <laughs> roaringly splendid to have you here. How are you, sir? Oh, come on. well, Your Highness. I dined hugely off a of servant before I come into town. Um, you eat your servants? No, oh, sir. I eat off them. Why should I spend good money on tables when I have men standing idle? <laughs> Why, indeed? I've no, never I looked at that way. Pitt's intentions. Young scallywag! Ah, so you don't approve of his plans to abolish me, then? I do not, sir. Damn his eyes. Damn his britches. Damn his duck pond. Well, hurrah you for that. tell him. I'm, I'm the duck pond. the son of a certified sauerkraut-sucking loon. Oh, thank you, sir. It <laughs> minds not me that you dress like a mad parrot and talk like a plate of beans negotiating their way out of a cow's digestive system. <laughs> it is no skin off my rosy nose that there are bits of lemon peel floating down the Thames that would make better regents than you. Oh, bravo. The fact is, yeah, yeah. you are regent. <laughs> yes, I am. Pointed yeah. by God. And I shall stick by you forever, though infirmity lay me waste, and ill health curse my every waking moment. Well, good on you, sir. Well, you seem uh, reliable. Don't talk to me about infirmity. Why, sir, you are the hardy stock that is the core of Britain's greatness. You have the physique of a demigod, purple of cheek and plump of fetlock. Are you sure? A shapely ankle and the well-filled trouser that tells of a human body in perfect working order. He's dead, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yes, in that position bad luck we were rather getting on this was funnier than i expected i didn't think it was going to be like this i thought the prime minister and mps coming up with ridiculous things but no this was funnier i could watch mps coming up with ridiculous things on 
Prime Minister's questions if I could be asked to turn it on. Yes, flogging servants and choosing poor people. <laughs> oh, they get me. I don't know, I had an inkling when the Prince was rambling on at the end after this guy had gone on about his ill health. I just had a feeling something was going to happen, like he was going to pass out or die. Not sat bolt upright in the chair. That was unexpected. Let me know what you thought of Blackadder. Sensible policies for a happier Britain. And I'll be back soon with my next upload.